have people absolutely panicking about the issue of Sharia and the uh, press are making it such an issue that we ourselves are becoming com confused as a Muslim community you can't understand Islamic law as just okay we're, gonna, we're going to compare Islamic law to Western law as a straight comparison because they're based on different philosophical premises when people discuss Sharia this is what is in their minds 99% of people when you mention Sharia they're thinking of somebody being stoned to death somebody having their hand cut off somebody being uh, lashed yeah very very uh, from a Western modern Western point of view very barbaric very harsh punishments The first thing I want to say about this is that if you examine any system of law from the perspective of its penal code exclusively so you just look at the penal code and you don't look at the rest of, of what is going on in that system of course you're going to have a distorted view about what that penal code is about If someone makes a categorical statement for example the punishment for adultery is uh, stoning to death or the punishment for stealing is cutting off the hand then I can tell you that categorically that statement is wrong that is a wrong statement to say this is the punishment for these particular crimes the question by Majid Nawaz and people like him is that well if you have this perfect Islamic government, Islamic caliphate and all these conditions are filled, would you still do these kind of punishments instead of uh, modern punishments? So I think you can't just give a two minute answer to that question because the person listening, you know, the audience for that question the majority of those people are ignorant of what that means Okay, so I would rather that they listen to this entire lecture or, or a similar lecture by somebody else, somebody better than myself yeah? then answer that question, we shouldn't be answering questions like that